Hey guys, today I want to talk about this very very simple tool that lets you play BD file automatically in Genshin Impact using the Liar. Uh, so I'm going to start with a demonstration uh, by switching to my desktop. And as you can see, uh, I have a song load up. So you can click browse and you're going to load in your file. And you're going to click compute followed by play. Then just head back to your game and it will play for you making sure that you switch back to liar screen within three seconds because that's when it start pressing the key anyway uh before i teach you how to use the tool there's a couple disclaimer i want to talk about the first one is that this is technically considered as a macro and could get you banned as it is against term of service uh, the second one is about the security and this is 100% uh, written by me and it's created by me and it will not steal your account information in any way I can guarantee you that or you can check out the source code in the description in the original git repository the last one is that uh, as per mihoyo disclaimer you're technically not supposed to play songs that you do not have the right to perform uh, so just making sure you're aware of that anyway so how do you use this tool right uh so you're gonna begin by heading to the download page which you can find in the description in case you landed in the repository page just click uh release and head to the latest release version and just download the exe once you have extracted it uh make sure that you are running this in administrator because it will not work otherwise okay we're back all right so you have to run this in uh administrator mode the next thing you do as you have seen before is just to click browse uh and then click a song and compute and then play and then head back to your game and you can see it will start playing the next thing i want to talk about are the play black key as white key above features that i made so for a song like clear at least you will notice that they have not just white key but also black key so the sharps d sharps this is a black key uh the a sharp c sharp are black keys however in genshin impact this is not supported you can see this start from a middle c4 to a c5 oh sorry uh, c4 to d4 followed by e4 and it's missing the c sharp and the d sharp so i made this an option to just play the black key as the white key above so for example this d sharp would be played as a e sharp uh etc uh, so let me demonstrate by playing this with the black key as white key and as you can see is uh replacing the black key of the white key and it's still rather sound rather close to the original so this is something you could do and it could be better depending on the song too uh, than just not to have black keys at all uh the second feature i want to talk about this semi tone shift feature uh, essentially it just shift the keyboard uh up or down some semi tone for example one semi tone then this would be a C sharp instead of a C. This would be a D sharp instead of a D. And all of these will be shifted up by one semitone. Uh, this is useful if you want to play something that are out of the middle C octave. For example, you can see that in this song in Chopin uh, 66, there is a lot of high octave note. So perhaps I want to shift my keyboard up by one octave. In this case, since one octave is 12 semitone, I will just put 12 here and it will start playing as if this was a C middle C and this is a C5 and it's E6. The last thing I want to talk about is the tick rate override. So uh let me try playing this coffin dance song for you. Uh and you notice for example this something is, is weird about this song. And that is it is playing too fast because it miscalculated the tick rate for the song or the BD just didn't program it properly. So let me stop this uh, and, and basically tick rate over Y will override their speed uh, per tick. So for this song, I think it's 005 per tick would be a good one. And uh, as you can see now, 
you will hear the difference, hopefully. So as you can see, uh, the speed is now the proper speed. That's pretty much just for this tool and I hope that this tool helps you. Uh, depending on the MIDI file you supply, it might have a different result. Since again, uh, Genshin Impact is rather limiting with the keys that they provide. But a, a, as I have shown you of some of the example, if you have a good file, then you can get really really promising results. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.